14 brand new Marvel Legends. Let's recap. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And today, let's recap the very last Marvel Legends livestream of 2022. As technically, Hasbro revealed to us 14 brand new Marvel Legends. Now, I say brand new. Granted, a lot of these are on the long rumoured leak list that are out there. So if you're playing rectangular bingo, then get those cards ready to tick some more off. But it is always nice to have these things officially confirmed from the team themselves so we can start planning accordingly. We need to know this type of thing for budgetary reasons and display space, of course. So let's get into it. First up, they finally confirmed to us those long rumored and canny X-Men free packs. Now, a lot of these figures have already been confirmed and revealed, but now we know everything officially. The first free pack is, of course, Gambit, Banshee, and Psylocke, who was revealed today on the new female double jointed pinless yellow and blue body. She comes with some psionic effect pieces and a brand new head sculpt with the purple hair sort of sweeping over the shoulder. Shoulder. The second free pack was Storm, who we seen revealed way back at Hasbro PulseCon. We got Forge and Jubilee revealed today as part of that free pack. Now, both of them are on the updated yellow and blue double jointed pinless bodies. However, I did notice that Forge's upper thigh, that robotic element, is just reused from the previous one. So I did spot a pin. Now, it's not a complaint, it's just an observation, but it's not technically 100% pinless. Just saying. But anyway, there are two free packs. You can order both of them uh, on the 8th of December. So this week, you can get them pre-ordered. So I'm expecting to see these around January time if distribution continues in the way it has been. So we shall see. Now, the next reveal was quite possibly my favourite reveal of the day because it's an opportunity for me to get a character that I missed out on when he was a builder figure back in the dark days of Hasbro. It is, of course... Blob. We are getting a brand new deluxe Blob. Now, I'm very happy for this as he looks as good as a big fat bastard can do in plastic. He doesn't look as malty as the previous builder figure does, if that makes sense. He is completely pinless. He comes with two head sculpts and he scales great compared to the average size Marvel Legends. Now, of course, Blob can fit in many different teams amongst your X-Men villains. So I am very happy at the opportunity to get this guy, especially when I consider an upgrade. So again, we've seen the packaging for this one so it can't be too far away so again hoping first quarter of the year we can add blob to our display we just need a destiny now hasbro please can i get a destiny for my brother new brotherhood of evil mutants thank you Next up, they revealed a couple of store exclusives as this one is a Walmart exclusive Craven the Hunter in his Spider-Man animated series colours. Now, I would love for this to be on the retro card, but I really think plastic free packaging is going to kill that hope. So maybe it's part of the VHS 2 pack, but considering they said it's a store exclusive, makes me think it's a single release, which is such a shame because that guy would have looked great on the Spider-Man retro card. So I'm still holding out hope. It's on a Spider-Man retro card, but I think Dan Yoon would have told us if that was the case. But we are getting Craven in his animated colors. We are also getting a brand new PS4 slash 5 Spider-Man, uh, which does seem to be on the brand new Renew Your Vows body with the toe articulation and the pinless joint. Now, I do have the previous one, which was decent enough, but it is pretty hard to get on the aftermarket. So I'm sure lots of people are going to be very grateful for the opportunity to get the upgraded better PS4 Spider-Man. Man. As to be honest, I do really like that design with the blues and the whites on the red. So yeah, that's the two exclusives. Now for those of you that stuck around after their draft picks, they did reward you with seven more reveals and five of them are first time in the line never before in Marvel Legend characters, which is always great. So of course, this is X-Men themed to go along with the 60th anniversary for the new year. So let's just get into it because I know a few of these are going to make some of my friends friends very happy. First Kid Omega who is on that 60th anniversary Spider-Man body. 
So it is all completely pinless, great range of motion. He's in his black costume with the hot pink highlights. He's got his pink hair and his pink gun as well. Next up, they revealed Fang, who was another X-Men sort of cosmic villain who we have never had before in the line. Now, it does seem to be more reuse on this guy than the others, but I'm not mad about it when it's brand new characters. Third up, we got Chamber for our Generation X fans. Now, he has that sort of translucent, exploding sort of headpiece. So if you get some light behind him, he's going to look great. Nice contrast to all the black levers he's got on his body. That's really good. And then shout out the super producer, Rich M, because they finally revealed Monet. Show me the money. Show me the money. Well, they did. We finally have Monet in her all red outfit. So I can't reach to, can't wait to speak to Rich about that one on the live stream this week. They also revealed Course Air. Now, I can't wait to add the Star Jammers to our sort of X-Men cosmic displays. Definitely a missing piece. And it is nice to know that Dan Yoon confirmed we are going to get more characters from the Star Jammers in the new year. They may have even teased one at the end of this stream, but I'll get into that. But very happy to get the daddy of Cyclops, Vulcan and Havoc in figure form for the first time. That space pirate. I can't wait to add his team to the collection now. So we shall see. And then the next two reveals were both Astonishing X-Men related. First up, we got a brand new, completely pinless Astonishing X-Men Cyclops. And then finally, we got an Astonishing X-Men Emma Frost in the white attire. Now, Dwight was really struggling to get her to stand on the table as she's wearing those goddamn heels. So uh, that is a point of frustration. But other than that, she does look pretty good. Always nice to get an opportunity to add Emma Frost to the shelf once again. So they are our seven figures in a brand new X-Men wave. Now, they did not reveal the Builder figure. But uh, maybe there are some teases that point in a certain direction, which I'll get into in a second. But yes, they are our seven figures. Kid Omega, Fang, Chamber, Course Air, Monet, Emma Frost and Cyclops. Both Astonishing X-Men style. So it's nice to see some Generation X characters finally starting to get out there. So Monet and Chamber, I'm sure, will be very well received throughout the community. But uh, what is the Builder figure? You let me know what you think the Builder figure is in the comments below but it doesn't end there as the Hasbro team did finish the stream with three teases all three of them pulled out a little accessory piece so at first Dwight wanted to show us a rose now this straight away makes me think of Richard Fisk aka the rose or blood rose now there has been multiple people that have took on the name the rose in Marvel comics so it could be any one of them but I'm thinking white suit purple mask he holds the ro rose as well as having a rose in his pocket so it has to be Richard Fisk at least I think a part of a future Spider-Man wave he may already be on a few leak lists out there bingo but anyway I digress now going back to Star Jammers Ryan did pull out of his pocket a little furry sort of mammal like ferret alien that we may recognize from Star Jammers once again as it's Chode's little pet so I think his name is Shiari or Shiri I don't really know how to pronounce it but it is definitely Star Jammers related which makes me think the builder figure for this x-men wave is chode but time will tell but this is still definitely confirmation that more star jammers are coming so i'm happy and the last little tease was from dan Yoon as he pulled out a little tiny golf club so that can only mean one thing right we're finally getting an official marvel legends tiger woods uh, okay, okay, maybe we're not getting a Marvel Legends Tiger Woods, but you tell me what the golf club is from then. I have no idea. I'm pretty confident on my other two guesses, but this golf club could be a weapon for any street level hero or villain, or maybe it's a golfer Deadpool. I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. There's always someone out there that cracks the code, but let me know what you think of all of these reveals. Let me know what the hits and the misses are, and of course, we're going to be diving into these reveals deep on this week's live stream with the super producer and his Hero dot collection. So make sure you stick around on the channel for a much more in-depth deep dive on these reveals and what they mean for 2023. But if you like Marvel Legends, and I can tell you one thing, you're in the right place. Check out the videos tab, find the playlist, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button, become a channel member, either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram, it's Dan Who, and I'm on Twitter as well, at Dan Who Reviews. Don't be shy, tweet me. 
Honestly, I reply every time. People are surprised. I'm like, I'm telling you every week to tweet me. Do it. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.